they, they are. The, the laws in Tennessee are old. They've been around for decades, and they're done. They were, they were written to protect the wildlife so that they're not exploited, with everybody going to get a wildlife and bringing it to their house, and also to protect people because wildlife carries certain diseases at times. They're also they sharp-clawed, sharp-toothed, and they can hurt you. And, and uh, so laws were written many years ago that are clear, that clearly say native wildlife cannot be kept in captivity in Tennessee, and anybody that works in the profession knows that. If there are there are exceptions, if they go about it correctly to the rules, if, if you're using them for education and you go about the right way and get and, uh, and get permitted to have those critters in there, there's ways for education that you can do it. That doesn't mean that every school in Tennessee that has some kind of animal in their schoolroom is doing it legally. Again, this is to keep folks from going out and just getting whatever animals they want and trying to make pets out of them or school class examples, you've got to go through certain procedures to get those critters. I see. And um, what is the criteria to be a rehabilitator? What do you have to go through? In, in order to be a real rehabilitator, you've got to work through our agency. You've got to show that you have some knowledge in what you're doing, uh, that, that uh, you've done your study and you've done your work, and you have to work through our wildlife officers that work through our Nashville office to show that you have uh, the facilities and the ability to do what you're going to try to do. Um, do. Are there classes or training or things that you have to pass or benchmarks? Or there, are definitely, there are definitely things that you have to have. We do not offer a course in Tennessee that we leave that to the folks that want to be a rehabilitator or that want to do control. It's uh, just like anybody else. If you have somebody that's going to come in and do pesticide work for you, they have to go through certain training and it's up to them to find the training and then show us that they're qualified. I see. But, um, We don't recommend it at all. Some of the, you know, it's sad stories. Now folks will pick up, they'll go out and get a fawn, for instance, a baby deer, and they'll take that fawn and, they, and it's a pretty animal and they want to keep it because it, it's, you know, they feel sorry for it. And I, we don't know, maybe half the half the time, its mom is so, you know, the, the doe is somewhere nearby, its mother's somewhere nearby, and so you've taken that animal out of captivity. And even if you bring them in captivity, they become dangerous. Uh, they can be very dangerous to you and it just doesn't do them any good. It, it, their chances of survival in the wild is greatly lessened by somebody taking them into a house. So what happens when you confiscate an animal that someone has tried to domesticate or imprint? More times than not, when we get someone, we get an animal that somebody tried to take into their home, we'll take it to a place like a Walden's Puddle, a rehabilitator that's qualified to have them. The rehabilitator would do their best to try to put the animal back in the wild. This uh, in the case of the raccoon that's been studied, that's been talked about here, going to be released in a few months back to the wild. That's where it needs to be, and that's what they try to do with everything they have. Um, and so, is that what you think will happen with that raccoon? Uh, and I think, in the case of this particular raccoon, that's what's going to happen. Is that uh, and that's what we want to happen? We want it freed back into the wild. I see, because um, this has brought you guys just a lot of questions and publicity, and you know. Well, Yeah, the, the answer, you know, it doesn't matter who the person is or what they have in mind for wildlife down the road. You can't have animals in Tennessee. You don't want that precedent even set in Tennessee because we have, our state is abundant with wildlife and one of the reasons it's abundant with wildlife because of a strong rule, a strong law that says leave them alone. And it's also why a lot of folks aren't getting sick or hurt because there's a strong law in Tennessee it says if you take it in your possession, we're going to come and get it, and we can cite you for it if, if you, you know, if you try, if you decide you're not going to give it to us.